From the exotic gardens of the Far East to a weed-infested gardener's nightmare in Bexley, Kent. Here, weeds are encouraged to provide lush breeding ground for the housewife's most unpopular insect, the moth. Rare specimens are carefully bred here for export all over the world. Mr. Hugh Newman, the entomologist whose breeding skill is now earning dollars for Britain, protects the rare species in muslin bags known as sleeves. Inside, the caterpillars browse on the leaves, safe from birds and other enemies. For these are very special moths, originating in many different countries and bred for their beauty and bright colors. When they hatch out, the caterpillars turn into giant silk moths, vividly hued like this Ailanthus or Tree of Heaven silk moth from China. You never saw one like this in the wardrobe. The Polyphemus, or giant oak silk moth from America, sometimes called the eyed silk moth because of the carmine rings on its lower wing. These are the giant moths of the world, beautifully dated, colorful insects like these moon moths from the Himalayas in India. Canadian bullseye moth, just one of at least a dozen brightly hued species whose breeding and categorizing calls for much research and skill. The moths are all used for breeding, but when they die, Mr. Newman sets them up so that their beauty is not lost. A delicate touch and deft handling of the moths is needed to avoid damaging the fragile wings in the setting up process. The Madagascar moth, the most beautiful in the world. A perfect example of the extraordinary beauty of an insect most of us know only as a pest, the moth.